Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we'll talk about the blood vessels as the last time we talked about the structure of the heart. Actually the blood vessels are divided into arteries, veins and blood capillaries. So, in this video, we'll talk about the arteries and veins. We'll make a comparison between both of them. And the blood capillaries, we'll talk about them in the next video. So, we'll begin talking about the arteries. Here we got the veins. We'll do the structure of the artery like this here this first layer which looks like this is an epithelial layer which is called the endothelium. This is the first inner layer of the artery. This layer is called the endothelium because it consists of epithelial cells and this is the inner first layer. The second layer is a muscular layer that control the pulsation of the artery. So this muscular layer is a strong layer which is found in the artery to control the blood flow through it. And the arteries are fairly wide veins or uh, sorry blood vessels which carry the blood from the heart to the different organs of the body. The outer and the last layer is a connective layer only for the protection of the artery. So the endothelium, then the muscular layer, then the connective layer. This is the structure of the artery. The blood which the artery carries is the oxygenated blood. What's meant by the word oxygenated is that the blood that the arteries carry is a blood carrying the oxygen and we'll know why now except only one artery inside the blood inside the body which carries the deoxygenated blood this artery is the pulmonary artery the pulmonary artery you can't refer reference to this in the previous video when you talked about the heart structure what happens in the heart as we said so this is the right side and this is the left side this is called the vena cava this vena cava is a vein which gets the blood from the whole body to the heart. When the blood enters like this, we said that this valve, the bicuspid valve, closes 
leading to the accumulation of blood in the right atrium, then the right atrium contracts to let the blood move away once more through this artery. And this artery is the pulmonary artery. The blood of the vein is carrying the carbon dioxide. Because when the uh, respiration process takes place, the body makes use of the uh, food contents and it releases the carbon dioxide. So the released carbon dioxide from the cells is carried by the veins because it's transported from the body organs to the heart. So the blood is carrying the carbon dioxide. When it goes downwards and upwards through the pulmonary artery, it will be carrying the carbon dioxide. So in this case, this is the only pulmonary artery carrying the carbon dioxide. But all the other arteries are carrying the oxygenated blood. So we go to the veins. The veins have nearly the same structure of the arteries, but with some modifications. So, if you do the vein like this. Here we got valves in the endothelium. Here the muscular layer is much thinner because already the blood flow is controlled by the valves while here is controlled by the muscular layer and the connective tissue. And 
transcend the lining of the body organ, the vein transfer the transfer or transport the blood from the lungs to the heart. And this is the only case that a vein is carrying an oxygenated blood, and then the blood is pumped once more through this artery, which is called the aorta. So this is why the arteries all carry the oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery and all the veins carry the deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary veins. We can take notice of the presence of the veins in our bodies by just, okay, we will We can identify the presence of veins or arteries inside our bodies by tying a tourniquet at the arm and the, the blood flow through the veins and arteries will appear. And this is what a scientist called William Harvey, an English scientist, did in the 17th century to discover the circular system. And this is the end of our lesson today. The next time we'll talk about the blood capillaries, the third type of the blood vessels. And till then, I thank you for watching and see you next time.